I wow. know that you are doing really well because just before this, uh, before coming here, you were having a still interviewed by a celebrity interviewer, Jill Nicolini, and that uh, we were having a very good time. I was part of it, and which was and, really... and Bina was a guest on that show. Yes, Bina yes, was my I guest was, there. I, I, we did yes, it together. I have this opportunity, yes, cool. and now of course. It's a privilege. Again, I'm enjoying that uh, I was there and uh, that was fun. Without any preparation again and without having any kind of uh, rehearsals, we were just doing that. And I'm, I'm continuously emphasizing for myself that, okay, this is, this is something I'm able to do. This is something I'm achieving every single day. I'm doing this to appreciate myself. Capital A appreciation here. Oh, and yeah. also, oh. I am doing it and using it as a mechanism that if I can do it today, I can do it tomorrow, and I can do it again. Right. So and not I'm just leveraging. talking, but doing also. Yes. 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 So if I can do it today, I can do it tomorrow. I can do it in every aspect of my life. And this is what we, we are keen to, and we are focused on. To be able Correct. to be ourselves in every situation without having Correct. any need of uh, preparation and uh, trying to put on something, every self-conception needs to be yeah. your own. This is what I am learning from Vip Vakability, and so I'm so thankful for that. Anyway, whoever is going to join us, Slip Live was here, and of course in the group and on YouTube, uh, Christopher Abbott, I hope and Joseph, and Norma, and Cher, and whoever, of course, Instagram, we always have uh, new people there. Uh, please, uh, if you are watching wow. us live, please do click like and subscribe to this channel, because by doing so, you're going to tra train your online algorithm that this tiny channel is providing some value, I want to have this value more and more in my life. And today, we are going to read, kept doing the capital R reading, because this is what we are busy in. Uh, since last many weeks that we are busy in doing the capital R reading of Carlos Castaneda's books about Don Juan. And with the very specific intent that we are going to connect with Don Juan, we are going to meet him, we are going to understand him, and we are going to understand his intent in the bigger picture. This is what we are doing, and I'm just loving this. So many things there, so many reasons to, to pay attention to Don Juan's lots, understanding and lots. sharing. Yes, and this is what we are going to do. So, Sir, are you ready to start? I am screen? almost ready. I want to make a quick comment while I finish yeah. on what you were saying about our ability to spontaneously be yes. appropriate. Yes. Yeah, which means yes. we, we, we're not just all, like we're practicing by coming on when we do our lives, the open, as yes. we like to call it. Or we go on somebody else's show, like today, you know, yes. this is PBN Network. It's a big deal. They're the second biggest yes. podcasters out there. And, you know, Jill Nicolini, she's interviewed lots of celebrities like, you know, Hollywood and um, um, Oscars and stuff like that, right? All this kind of yes. stuff. Um, yeah. So it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a Mickey Mouse thing, in other words, that we're doing, right? Yes. And this, is a, this is a serious platform. Oh, um, yes, it is. Right. Now, uh, but, but it, it doesn't matter to us. We're not going to, oh, I'm going to be on the show and I have to practice in rehearse. And a lot of people do. And they go and they, it's all scripted and they, they read off the teleprompter, you know, that they just put on their own TV, you know, while they're doing that. No, no, we just go. And we had a wonderful show. It was very natural. Why? Because we are, have practiced and are able and through way of impeccability, we are able to be real. Right, Bina? Yes. Yes. But the only preparation we always have, and every practitioner of way of impeccability will always, always have, is having clarity of intent. Exactly. And when you know what you're doing, it's very simple. Our clarity of intent, what are we doing? We're sharing mourners' culture. Does it matter what part of it? No. We are always, our intent is always to be appropriate. This, yes. this is like trained in us over and over and over again. So like whenever we're doing something, well, what is the appropriate? It's, it's a duh what the appropriateness is. You don't have to sit exactly. and figure it out. I, I'm on a show. Uh, duh. There's many things that are appropriate. 
any one of them will, will serve the, the bill, right? And of course, yes. when appropriateness in, in the back of your mind, you know, well, last week we talked about this, previous week we talked about that, I want to do it again, okay, so something new. Ah, you see what I mean? You don't have to calculate the appropriateness, it just comes, it's just a duh, right? This is an incredible ability, the ability to do without needing to think. Now, exactly. I don't mean it's mindless. I mean that the thinking happens so fast, so quickly, so fast. See, I said fast American, man. Getting Americanized. <laughs> yes. I grew up, it was fast. And Bina says fast also. Right? Yes. Yeah, just for consistency, you know, I, I can't do it halfway and then some not, some, so I got to be consistent. Anyway, otherwise it's a mess. Anyway. <laughs> it <is fast. laughs> not okay. that it matters. Yes. But the ability to do things uh, without thinking, yes. it's not truly without thinking. The thinking just happens so quickly that we don't notice it necessarily. Like our ability to assess what is appropriate. I don't have to put the words together in a, in a, in a little boring string. Oh, this and then that. It happens immediately, it's innately. And afterwards, I, I will be able to go back and basically do a replay in slow motion. Right, Bina? And it's okay, yes, uh, you know, and then you can see how you figured it out, <laughs> but quickly. This is what intuition oh, yes. actually is, as yes. far as I am concerned. Intuition is a thought chain that happens compressed into a moment. Now, if we've been paying attention to our own awareness, we notice that compression, and then you can you can stretch it out afterwards and, and see and check your your thinking and 